Hello everybody. Uh, today's video is <laughs> is for some motivation for you guys. So um, if you have an area that looks about like this area under my kitchen sink, get prepared to be <laughs> to be motivated. Um, spoiler alert, it does not look Pinterest worthy at the end. <laughs> Um, but it is better. It's, you know, easier to find things. I did get rid of some stuff and move some things to other areas of the house. Um, but, you know, it does not look beautiful at the end. It still looks like under my sink. It's still cleaning supplies and things like that. So, um, it did get better. It had been kind of driving me crazy last year i bought <clears throat> these containers and the little risers all of it from dollar tree um so it just helps you to get if you get a riser you can usually store some things underneath them as well and then um, so you'll have the top surface and the bottom surface to store things they're short so you know taller items can't go under there um so it has to be something kind of short as well but they can be kind of handy so check your dollar tree everything's now a dollar 25 um but that's still better than the prices at a lot of stores um so i'm really just kind of pulling everything out um looking at what's what so that back one there is bug sprays um, and I think it's labeled that or pest or something. I don't know. Um, so then I put all the, all the bug stuff in one and then I put like any kind of smell like fabric refresher spray all got put in one. Um, those are dishwasher tablets. So I try to put those together. I have this box and I had a bag too. So I put those near each other. But really, as I was doing this, I was kind of struggling, didn't like have a super clear plan of what I was going to do, so I moved things around a good bit, um, threw away what I could, and then just organized like items together. So really, this is just for you to check the areas that have been bugging you and see if maybe you can come up with a new way to... Uh, organize um, maybe you already had it organized at one point and you just need to get it set um, back to to a good state maybe you've never organized it and there's just stuff thrown in there no kind of containers to keep things uh, contained <laughs> I guess that's why they're called containers um, either way if you if you can Y'all, that was a really old dishwasher pod, and I still used it later. <laughs> um, so, anyway, whatever the case, um, you know, if you have me on the phone right now, take me with you to wherever it is you need to get organized, and we can do it together. Um, if not, you can watch this for some motivation, and then go get started, or put it on your list for this weekend. Um, but any little thing you do like this just helps you in the long run, um, helps you be able to find things more easily. It keeps my headspace clearer too, you know, if there's just like a ton of spaces in my home that are disheveled and unorganized, it just, you know, I'm just not able to focus on the things I need to as much, so... It helps you in your mental state as well. Um, did want to mention, I, as I'm doing this voiceover, I do have strep throat. So, if you think I sound different, um, you're right. So, <laughs> sorry if I'm a little scratchy and stopped up sounding, um, but I am. So, uh, I've, I got antibiotics yesterday, so I am feeling a little better today. Um... And just wanted to go ahead and get this voiceover done. So just doing it anyway. Uh, my throat doesn't really hurt that much anymore. Um, but just trying to to get back to normal. So 
here in a few days, I'm sure I will be. Um, like I said, you see me like moving things around. Figure out what works for you. Um, you know, I had some bigger things that just won't fit in containers. Had some smaller things that will. Um, <clears throat> have this area where I can hang a few um, squirt bottles on it, but if you put too much, it just hits the other things underneath. But that is a good way to store um, squirt bottles is if you have some kind of tension rod or something like that. This that's you know got a little a little um, rack on it that you can hang them on, but it does hit things underneath, so I have to not put too many on there at once <clears throat> and then at this point I realized oh I've got some other containers that I saw when I was I had cleaned out from under this piece of furniture in our bedroom and remembered that I had these other ones and thought some of this bigger stuff might fit better in one of these other ones um, I still think most of this is yeah from the Dollar Tree so um, you know, don't go, well, you do whatever you want to do if you want to spend a ton of money on containers for organization and that makes you happy, go for it. But if you really just want the organization and don't need it to be that Pinterest worthy, perfect, you know, everything's matchy matchy, um, like me, I don't, you know, I just want it organized. I want it to look decent, you know, if you open it and it's not like stumbling out onto you when you open open this cabinet that's what I'm going for so um yeah if you're like me head to Dollar Tree see what they've got mine has things sometimes and then doesn't have them other times I was struggling with that bottle I do finally later get it open um because those two things were really the same thing one of them's Walmart brand and one of them's Lysol but they're clearly the same exact thing so I did end up pouring them together to save room because they both only had a little bit in them um so yeah check out the Dollar Tree mine will have some containers sometimes and then later they'll have a different kind so check back kind of often if if um you're just getting started trying to get things organized so last year like I said I did go through a lot of spaces in our house and made some kind of organizational structure. Um, so I did our pantry, I did here under this sink, I did our bathroom uh, under our master bathroom cabinets. Um, so they've all got containers that hold different things. I just try to group like things together. Um, that is really what organization is, is that you're grouping like things and then you know where it goes and and to the key is to put it back where it goes when you're done using it so um that one <clears throat> the gray one i just put in there i think says surface cleaners um another one is for my cleaning cloth so it says cleaning cloths on it uh, the one with that orangish looking box is like things to make areas smell better so that's like a cat litter deodorizer box and um, like some fabric refresher freshener spray um, so just th things to to make areas smell better so just group them um, with similar items and that's a good place to start and if you struggle with you know keeping your home organized or keeping it clean um, really <clears throat> the the best thing for me is getting it set the way I want it or need it first and then um, keep it you know the upkeep is really key so if everything is where it should be and everything's nice and clean and organized um, and you every day take 15 minutes here 10 minutes here um, you can really keep your house pretty straight, you know, all the time. If everything start, if you start out with everything unorganized and not in a place, not in its place, um, it's going to be difficult to to maintain. It's going to be impossible to maintain. So, <clears throat> my recommend recommendation would be, yeah, you got to get it set the first time, but 
make sure at each and every day you are doing something to keep your house um, up uh, up kept right so uh, and if and if you struggle with that or with being able to focus on what to do on you know on a certain day make yourself a schedule and it doesn't have to be anyone else's schedule I know there are resources out there where um, like I know there's like a the fly lady um, hers seems very very structure like too structured for me because um <laughs> and here I must have been just talking to someone or looking at the TV um hers seems a little too structured for me because you know my my day might be different every day like I'm not here like I work from home um but I'm not I'm at my desk and I'm working and I'm not cleaning up my house right so um, she has like this morning schedule and a noon schedule and an afternoon. And I'm like, um, no, all that's wiped out. I've got to figure out how to upkeep my house um, just by doing things in the evening. Maybe first thing in the morning uh, I could I can unload the dishwasher or something. Um, I don't typically do that. Maybe it, it, at lunchtime if I take a break, I come in the kitchen and straighten up. But in general, like most of the things I do are going to be in the evening. So find a schedule that works for you. If you are, you know, if you work, obviously your schedule is going to be different than a stay-at-home mom. Um, you know, make it work for you, but just figure out what works. And it may not be that the first thing you try is what works. So try out some different ways, but get things get things the way they need to be and then don't let it get um out of hand out of control so maybe maybe every you know if you are a stay-at-home mom every monday uh you clean the bathrooms every tuesday you do laundry um every wednesday you vacuum i don't know like whatever it is um make up a schedule for the week but then also pretty much every day is a clean the kitchen day if you eat um then there's a mess in the kitchen so make make a you know 15 minutes at night i'm gonna get the kitchen cleaned up before i go to bed every night and you will really be glad you did so i will say i have been more tired lately than normal and I've just felt um, less motivated and I need to get I need to get out of that funk so I have um, there's just a lot you know a lot going on in life so um, and and you'll go through times like that but I've let myself not do those things sometimes and I've regretted it in the morning you know I'm like oh, I should have stayed up for five extra minutes and just gotten this cleaned all right, here's the result. I told you, not Pinterest worthy, but it works. Thanks.